Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're good. I'm a bit tired, it's 11 p.m. and I've been traveling the whole day. Tomorrow I'm going skiing with my family. I haven't been skiing in two years now, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's so much fun and I thought about filming a video. I thought that it might be interesting to film how it works because there's a whole procedure before <laughs> actually skiing that is renting the equipment unless you've got it and you use it every year. I've never owned my own because you know as a child you grow up so quickly so it's not worth it and then I'm not a regular skier. I don't go every single year many times a year. I just go maybe once every two years so it wouldn't be worth it and so I just rent the equipment that is the skis rackets I'm not sure how you call them and the helmet which is very important to protect your head in case of accidents of falls so you rent the equipment first and usually the shops are close to the place where you buy the ski pass which is about 30 to 40 euros it depends if you you're going to ski the whole day or if you only do the morning. Usually then you get your ski pass with your equipment on and then you get on the ski lift. Then yeah you just have the different slopes. The easiest ones and the more difficult ones. The most difficult one is the black slope, La Pista Nera, and it's very steep. For lunch you will stop at um, Rifugio which is a chalet and they've got really good Good food usually really typical mountain food and I love having two very typical dishes of Italy of northern Italy called pizzoccheri and polenta this is the bill that you pay in Italy for the public TV by the way tonight a very famous festival called Sanremo began and I never cared about it but since moving abroad as I miss Italy I will watch it but now I remember that but I never have Rai, which is the public television on this TV. So I will try the one in the bedroom. My grandma left me some essentials like soy milk so I can have a cup of tea. Oh, this is my favorite. It's vegetarian ham croissants for breakfast. Good, good. So yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you Santa Caterina and most importantly the landscapes because one of the very best parts of skiing besides the fresh air and how fun it is to come down from a slope fast it's the beautiful snowy mountains Today we're going to Santa Caterina Valfurba. My family is going to pick me up in around 30 minutes, I think. It's not an early alarm today because we're not going to ski today. We're going to ski tomorrow, the next day and Saturday as well in the morning before driving back. I hope it's going to be sunny because nothing beats a sunny day while skiing. And I hope I will remember how to ski. I mean, you actually never forget. It's like going on a bike, but I haven't been skiing in two years and so at first when you get off the ski lift and you see the downhill in front of you you always have that shiver of excitement and adrenaline as well it takes three hours to go from my village on Lake Como to Santa Caterina I think we're staying in a hotel I actually don't know where we're staying and I also brought my GoPro which I received for Christmas I hope I'll be able to use it I would love to start using my GoPro I just don't have the help helmet with the attachment. I don't know how you say that. But maybe in the rental place they will have the helmet for GoPros. Also, oops, before I forget, let me know if you've ever tried skiing and where because I know that I've got followers from Canada and the US and I'm really curious because I've only skied in Italy. Yeah, I'm curious to know if you can ski, if you ever tried, if you like it, if you don't because a lot of people hate it and they find it scary and anxiety inducing which I get it can be 
scary. Also, it's a very expensive sport because you've got the equipment and the ski pass and the journey to get there, the petrol, hotels if you're staying the night. We're lucky in Lake Como because you can leave in the morning really early. I remember as a kid getting up at 5 a.m. I wasn't very happy, but then eventually I was happy once I was skiing. I've been very lucky at the rental because I asked if they had a helmet with the part where you can attach the GoPro and they did and it was my size as well. everyone we're about to go get our equipment in the ski room and then we're going skiing it's around 9 a.m and hopefully it should be sunny later because look at the mountains there This is the most anxiety-inducing part, the ski lift. I'm always afraid of falling, but it's even if I fall, it's nothing serious. But then there's people behind you and you're in the middle of the road. I remember falling once and it's very embarrassing. I'm always relieved to see the GoPro on my head. At least it's not, it didn't fall in a valley. our hotel and we're on the first floor while my grandma and my aunt are on the third floor 
we're back from the morning spent skiing and I'm really curious to find out what this GoPro filmed. It was the first time I used it and I'm not a fan of instruction manuals and so I just gave it a go and we'll see what happens. If the footage is not nice we're going to ski tomorrow and the next day as well but I hope the footage is nice from today because today it was beautiful sunny while tomorrow and the next day it's going to snow and anyway it's going to be a bit cloudy today it was just beautiful we went for the last downhill and it was beautiful because there was no one around after lunch and now the sun is still out and I'm going to have a shower while my family went to Bob went bobbing I don't know if bobbing exists as a verb anyway I'm shocked by like I'm not shocked because I know but skiing is so expensive I bought the ticket for three days as we're staying three days and we only ski in the morning four hours but it was better to get a ticket for three days for the whole day because it was only 11 euros more than the other one at least if we want to ski more than four hours we can plus the insurance the insurance is three euros per day so that's fine and it's also mandatory unless you've got your own insurance and then you've got to pay the five euro what's the word calzione for the ticket because it's a magnetic hard plastic i'll show you later you've got to pay five euros and then when you go to give it back they will give you five euros back so in total three days you can ski the full day from 8 30 in the morning until 4 30 in the afternoon i paid a hundred and 75 euros then i paid 75 for the rental of the equipment so 170 i'll have five euros back plus 75 plus obviously you've got to count petrol hotel lunches dinners actually the dinner is included in the hotel so yeah it's very expensive as a sport but it's so so fun and also being up there on the top of a mountain and the sun is out the air is so fresh it's really fantastic so yeah I think it's still worth it if you if you can now I'll turn on my laptop and see what what I filmed the battery lasted two hours and a half this is the ski pass and you can keep it here in this sleeve there's a pocket in here if you've got a ski jacket or in this pocket as well this pocket here so that the machine registers the magnet and it will open for you because to go on the ski lifts to go up the slopes you need to yeah to open the By the way, if you come to this area, you've absolutely got to go to the Terme di Bormio, the thermal baths, because it's absolutely amazing. I will put some photos. I haven't been there in years. I can't wait to go back there sooner or later. A few curves above the town of Bormio, which is lovely, and you can ski there as well. By the way, today I didn't fall when skiing, but I did fall in the bathroom of the chalet where we had lunch because the floor was very slippery and I hurt my wrist and my leg, but that's nothing serious at the moment. Nothing is hurting, thankfully. I'm going the wrong way. Oh look, we came down from there before. But this road is yours to trail Made to mold into a song That sung before your day So you found the beat, the melody Come on, baby, let's go west, let's go west to the promised land. 
Take my hand again Load up the car and drive real far I could play for cash at the Walmart Don't think twice this time You know I'm real fond of Oregon It would rain outside while I ride my we're trying a different restaurant today. It don't rain enough around here and you know it don't. Sunset Drive is quite alright with me, baby. But we can't stay here forever. Today it's the last day and we are the first ones on this slope so it's so satisfying to see that the snow is nice and fresh and there's no signs in it. I think today as it's Saturday it's going to be very crowded. It's snowing. I hope it's going to stop snowing very soon so that we can go up and do the sunny valley. My cousin has her ski lesson in 10 minutes so we got the first bus from the hotel to the ticket office at 8.30 and the bus is free and it takes one minute to go from the place where the hotels are to the... That was my cousin's ski teacher. Which I still don't know. I still don't know what this name is in English. In Italian, it's ovovia because it's got the shape of a neck. I went up to the Sunny Valley while the very last part was closed today and yesterday as well because of the weather conditions. The snow on your face was so painful at the top. It was like small pieces of glass hitting your face. As soon as I left the Ovovia, it was terrible because of the wind and the visibility. You could not see anything and there was the wind lifting the first layer of snow and it was really interesting to see. Anyway, I'm quite tired now but I'm so happy of these three days of skiing. It was beautiful. I hope there's no camera here because I would be very ashamed. 